The international tax scene has been watching the OECD's base erosion and profit shifting project, also known as BEPS 2.0, continue to steam ahead despite the ongoing health crisis. BEPS 2.0 is proposing some fairly fundamental changes to the global tax system. What started as a proposal to address tax challenges associated with digital businesses has morphed into something much greater than this. The first proposal is a new taxing right aimed at not only digital businesses, but also other consumer facing businesses known as Pillar 1. The second proposal is a global minimum tax, known as Pillar 2, which the Biden administration is now pushing strongly for. Australia's concessionary tax regime for offshore banking units has recently fallen victim to international pressure from the OECD and the EU. The question is, will this budget flag further measures which do little to attract capital into Australia in the name of BEPS and international consensus? And can we afford to do this whilst the pandemic continues to rage on?